Hey everyone, it's your boy here, and today we're diving into something really exciting. The MetaQuest 3 and how it stacks up against the Apple Vision Pro. Now, I know you're all hyped about the Vision Pro's ability to place apps anywhere in your physical space, but guess what? You can do something similar on Quest 3, and I'm about to show you how. First things first, let's talk about what makes the Vision Pro so cool. It's got this feature where you can take your open apps and just stick them anywhere in the room or around your house. It's like having a bunch of floating windows that you can arrange however you want. Pretty neat, right? But here's the thing. You can actually do something similar on the MetaQuest 3. And you don't even need to spend $3,500 to make it happen. All you need is a little app called SideQuest and a browser called Reality Browser. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the heck is SideQuest? Well, it's basically this awesome tool that lets you sideload apps onto your Quest headset. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities and it's super easy to set up. To get started, you'll need to download the SideQuest installer from the link in the description. Just make sure to grab the version that matches your operating system. Once it's installed, fire it up and follow the prompts to create an organization. This is basically just telling Meta that you're a developer, but don't worry, it's a piece of cake. Next up, you'll need to enable developer mode on your Quest headset. Just pop it on, connect to Wi-Fi, and head to the settings menu. Click on the devices section, find your headset, and toggle on the developer options. Easy peasy. Now here's where things might get a little weird. You're supposed to plug your Quest in and put it on to authorize the data transfer. But sometimes the window disappears when you do that. If that happens, just take the headset off, hold it in front of you, and use the controller to select the option. It's a little quirky, but it works. Once you got SideQuest up and running, it's time to reinstall the Reality Browser. Just search for it in the SideQuest app, click on the Quest 2 version, and hit Install. It'll set you back $4.99, but trust me, it's worth every penny. Okay, so now that you've got Reality Browser installed, let's fire it up and see what it can do. The first thing you'll notice is that it launches in its own window, separate from the built-in browser. It's a little annoying, but hey, a small price to pay for free floating windows, right? Now, here's where the magic happens. You can grab any window, resize it, and place it wherever you want in your physical space. Want a browser window hovering above your monitor? Done! Want to stick a video player on the wall? No problem. Of course, there are a few limitations. If you leave the boundary of your play area, things can get a little messy. And unlike the Vision Pro, you can't just wander around your entire house with these floating windows. But still, it's a pretty incredible experience and it really shows off the potential of the Quest platform. Now, I know what you're thinking, but wait, doesn't the Quest 2 have terrible pass-through compared to the Quest 3? And you're right, it does. But here's the thing, even the Quest 2 can handle this free-floating window setup. Sure, the pass-through might not be as good, but the functionality is still there. And that's really the point I want to drive home here. The MetaQuest 3 is a $500 headset that can do something pretty darn close to what the $3,500 Vision Pro is offering. And if Meta is smart, they'll take notice and start incorporating this kind of functionality into the stock Quest browser. Imagine being able to access all your favorite apps, your camera, the store, your social feeds, and just place them wherever you want in your physical space. It would be a game changer, and it's 100% possible on the Quest platform. So there you have it, folks. A quick and easy guide to getting free floating windows on your MetaQuest 3. Just like the Apple Vision Pro, it might take a little bit of setup, but trust me, it's worth it. And who knows, maybe someday soon we'll see this kind of functionality baked right into the Quest operating system. But for now, I want to hear from you. What do you think of the experience and what other cool apps have you discovered through sideloading? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome VR content. Until next time, stay nerdy my friends.